Hey everybody, I'm back. This is Reed right here. Reed is, he's gonna help us out a little bit today. Uh, Reed is also interested in some videography stuff, I think, in YouTube, so he's gonna help on the camera a little bit, just help with the bees. It's good to have an extra set of hands here doing this. Just thought I'd introduce you to him. I'm excited, I work with his mom at work. She's an occupational therapist where I work at the hospital. And so we finally got together and we're just gonna go through some hives right back there. <laughs> we dropped these hives off last night out here and uh, they were really fired up. They had been on a semi-truck coming from California for several days, been moved from the receiving yard to my friend Davis's place for a day. Then we brought them out here last night and it was crazy. So we're gonna go through these today, see what's going on with them, just assess them. We may add some honey boxes on, we may do some splits. We'll just see what we're dealing with. And then at the end, I hope to treat them for mites uh, using the oxalic acid vaporizer. He's ready to go now. He's got his beekeeping jacket on and everything. What yeah. you think about this, Reed? It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we don't get stung too much. All right. I'm okay. good after it. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to find. I hope I find a bunch of strong bees. Oh, yeah. I'll say that looks strong. My main thing I, I want to do is just make sure we don't see a bunch of queen cells like the bees are wanting to swarm. I heard these hives were heavy. And I believe it, since this top box right here is basically full of honey. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. I don't know how many of you guys have had almond honey, but last year we tried it. I haven't tried it yet this year, obviously, and it's pretty bitter. I mean, I personally didn't care for it. I guess some people probably like it, but... Yeah, that's a box of honey right there. Plenty of bees. I'm looking here at the drone larva. Don't really see any mites in them, which is a good sign. Let's pull out a frame or two here. Let's see what we got. For sure gonna have to add some space. I do plan on doing some splits. Now we got pollen all through here. We got honey around the edges. We got some brood right here. I'm looking at the next frame over and I'm seeing a really solid frame of brood right here. Look at that. So we gotta do something or else they're gonna get swarmy on us. I expect to see this in a lot of the hives. All this right here, all that brood. And right here we have a queen cell. Let me see if there's actually, there is an egg, but they haven't started putting royal jelly in there yet. So obviously we have a good strong colony here. I want to actually pull a frame out of the middle of this one. See if we have brood up in this box too. We got some drone brood down there. At the bottom of this drone brood right here is the little bullet shaped cells. And I can see some brood in those frames. So we got a couple of options and what I think I'm going to do, I discussed this with Davis. I may reverse these boxes. This box over here does have brood up in the, near the top of it. Reverse these boxes, that'll put this deep box near the top. And then if I decide to come back and do splits, it'll be easier to remove the deep frames. But I think what I'm going to do on a lot of these colonies is just put some, put a, a medium box on here, let them start maybe putting some honey in. Around this area, there's flowers everywhere. We have privet in these hedges all along this field. I think this, this is gonna be a really good area to, to make honey. So I may actually just kind of let these bees maintain their strength here for a little while. Maybe come out in the next couple of weeks and do some, some small, like two or three frame splits, but I'm gonna let them kind of roll with it. They built up very strong out in California now. So I may let them reap the reward of that a little bit and put some honey in here. It really doesn't matter which box is on top or which box is on bottom, the bees will figure it out. I'll set that right there. This box right there. Okay. It's awesome. These bees are in great shape. Okay. Some of this off of here. I think I'm just gonna go get a box of, uh, I'll try a box of empty foundation on this and see what they can do. Maybe we'll check back in a couple of weeks and see what they've done. I imagine they're gonna draw it out pretty quick.
It's one of those wax dip boxes we did at Boyd's place a few weeks back. This is some uh, double wax Pirico foundation we got last year. I actually got this from Davis. He had got it from Pirico. And then here on the ends is my traditional Pirico triple wax. They don't seem to have problems drawing any of it out, especially this time of the year. It's going to be great. Our focus is going to be mainly to uh, get some extra space on these bees. Uh, this is the second box. We took the lid off. You can already see it's not near as strong. Anyone who has bees knows it's just not a consistent result every time. But in this top box, this was probably foundation. It may have been when I sent it off to California. I'm not sure if it was or not, but pull this frame out right here. A little bit of comb, a little bit of honey. I really don't remember how strong this thing was when we sent it out. I can't, there's no way I can remember all these things. Um, but if you come out to the edge here, they haven't really started drawing this out yet, so they got some work to do still. I may just kind of leave this one alone. If you look right here, they got some brood, some honey around the edge right here. Let's just break into the bottom box and see how it looks. And it, it looks strong. See the mites on there? That's what you don't want to see. So we definitely have some mites going on here. We need the mites treated. We'll use some oxalic acid vapor later. Just trying to make sure we get them knocked back anyway. They're getting a little fired up, aren't they? They were really fired up last night out here. You should have... I really couldn't get any good video of that, but man, they were coming after us last night out here getting these things emptied off. I'm seeing eggs in there, so we got a queen. I'm just going to leave this one alone, I think, right now. All right, we're going to do something here. We have pulled a section with honey on it right here, a little bit of comb. And I'm going to let Reed taste this almond honey and tell me what he thinks. Uh, what are your thoughts? It's pretty good. Is it pretty good? It's pretty good. It's got a little bit of bitterness at the end. Does it? But it's not bad? It's not bad. Okay. Reed likes it. A lot of people don't like it. Well, that's cool. We're on number eight now. They've all looked good. We had one that was a little weak, but most of them are looking great. What we're doing is basically reversing. We've ended up reversing the top, medium underneath the deep, so we can make it easier for splits if we decide to do those in a week or two. These bees are just hanging out on the front. That means it's super full of bees, I think. So we'll see what we have. Oh, man, I'm just amazed at these bees. Last year they weren't near this strong when they came back from California. This year they're amazing. Now Reed suggested, and it's a good idea, that we save this wax. So I, I think about it sometimes, but I usually don't have any way to save it. I usually throw it on the ground, which is a waste, I know. Look at all that almond honey right there. I'm going to let these bees keep their almond honey. It's not very tasty. On these uh, hives that are super packed out and totally full, that need some work to do, I'm just putting some foundation on them. Good grief, they have that thing. I have that thing locked down. There we go. There we go. Look at all those bees, Reed. Man. We're definitely seeing some mites in the drone brood though. So we'll be treating. Now I do understand that when you treat with oxalic acid, you don't kill all the mites that are in the brood, but it does knock them back. And now that you can treat with honey boxes on the hives, We'll probably just treat them occasionally and try and keep them knocked down until we are done with honey flow. Haven't seen a lot of really any super, really any queen cells to speak of. I have one I saw earlier that I think may have had an egg in it, but as packed as these bees are, we're going to give them some space and see what happens. We'll watch them close. I'm going in kind of towards the center just to see how the brood situation is, being real careful that I don't roll anybody. Nice and slow. Yeah, this one's getting back filled a little bit here. We got some nectar coming in here, so we got to give them some space. Oh, we got some queen cells right here. 
so I'm going to see if we have some more queen cells. We might actually do a quick split out of this. And lots of bees, lots of everything. Let's see if we find some eggs though, because I want to make sure we do have an active queen in here. There's another queen cell right there. That one actually looks like it might be. Let's see if that one's hatched. That one might have already hatched the queen. Unbelievable. So excited about how these bees are doing. Look at all that brood. All right, we're gonna flag this hive. There's a, I think we have a couple of dead outs in this bunch, believe it or not, and we may just do a split and move it down to that other place if we can figure out which one's it, which one it is. Way full of bees, lots of brood. Man, killing it. I just wanna see some eggs is what I wanna see though. Golly. I haven't seen the first egg though, so I wonder if they've already, I don't know if they've already swarmed or something, and I hate to take the queen cells out of here if they've swarmed. We're gonna revisit this hive. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stack it up as if, oh, there they are, there's the queen cells. So, be real careful. If we decide to split this thing, we'll know which frame the queen cells are in. Golly. They've had about enough of us, haven't they? Mm -hmm. I think they're about done with us. Very impressive. These strong bees right here. Okay, we're gonna treat these bees for mites with oxalic acid. Gonna use a Laura Bees vaporizer here. This is mine, but I have a brand new one that we're gonna give away at 10,000 subscribers. So stay tuned, we'll announce the rules when we hit that mark. Uh, let's go ahead and get busy here. This is how it works. Just gonna show you the Laura Bees vaporizer in action. You got the vaporizer connected to the little cup with the acid in it. I'm gonna stick it in a hole down here like this now flip it over and back here we got the temperature i don't know if you can see it or not probably not but it dropped down to almost below 300. it's going to fill up this hive right here and hopefully take care of any issues with mites that we have at least knock them back some a Rob from Laura Bees also sent a, a, a respirator, a 3M respirator, and the proper cartridges to be able to treat your bees with the vapor. I'm using an RZ mask with an organic acid filter, and it works fine. I mean, I'm right here in the middle of this stuff. It's not affecting me at all, but uh, some people prefer those 3M ones, and that's the one that most people uh, recommend. So that one's done. It's up to 400 degrees here, so I'll take this off. We'll go on to the next one. Reed drilled some holes in the side of these for me. So you can just stick it right in underneath the, the bottom box, right in here, so to go into the hive. You tap it down, and then you just let it go for about a minute or so. So now we're gonna do all these uh, Hives that just got back from California, gonna make sure we knock these mites back. Well, we got that done. We've been at it for a while, haven't we, Reed? Yes, sir. Maybe, what, four hours, three or four hours out here, but we got yeah. them all checked. And we added boxes on some. I think we ended up with four dead outs, something like that, and there's a couple that are pretty weak that may not make it. Other than that, we stack some up pretty high, hopefully get some honey off of these colonies. I don't know that we'll do any splits right away. We're just gonna give them a little time to get uh, situated and there's a lot of stuff blooming around here, so uh, maybe we can get a little honey crop off of them as, and then they'll also get these watermelons pollinated. 
Well, what'd you think, Reed? How was that? It was fun. Uh, anyway, we're going to close this out. It's been a long day. I think we're the bees are tired of us, and I think we're tired of the bees. So we're going to head out of here. I appreciate you helping me out, Reed, and, and Reed may be helping us out some more in the future. He's done a good job today, and it's really made things a lot easier and a lot faster. Uh, Y'all take care, and be safe.